All right, hello everyone. Welcome to what is probably gonna be the most mind-melting donation stream in a while. We have a lot of spicy ones today. Number one, we're gonna be looking at this Jeskai version of a uh, Jeskai Ascendancy combo. Of course, uh, the, the broken card that never was. Uh, Jeskai Ascendancy, a classic. Then we have a different version of Jeskai Ascendancy for the second league and then for color control for the third one. So buckle up because it's going to be a wild ride. Let's start right over here. So this version of Jeskai Ascendancy, uh, it's basically straight up Jeskai, only splashing green off of a single breeding pool for Veil of Summer in the sideboard. Um, couple of things going on here. Uh, the win condition is going to be Jeskai Ascendancy, uh, plus uh, either making an infinitely large uh, Fate Stitcher. We can also grow the Embry, or we can win thanks to Monastery Mentor, or we can use Underworld Breach to basically loop... Uh, as many lining bolts as we have access to cards in our graveyard, basically. So those are going to be the win conditions that we're going to be uh, cooking with. Uh, this deck also plays Emery plus Mox Ember. So Emery plus Mox Ember or like Mimithras Bubble or Explosives or anything like that. It just goes infinite. I guess it doesn't actually go infinite with ex Explosives because you need to... Yeah, I guess you actually need to <laughs> you need to be able to sacrifice this. So never mind. Uh, but the idea is that if, if we, I guess if we have a Fate Stitcher with a Chromatic Star, it also goes infinite. So that, that's like a bunch of ways to go infinite with Jeskai Ascendancy. And whenever you're going infinite with Jeskai Asc 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 Ascendancy, I can't even pronounce the word. <laughs> um, you you're growing your dudes as you go. So um, so basically, you need to. Assemble just cast ascendancy plus a, a couple of creatures and then you go off casting spells or you present an infinite loop with Emery and then you basically go off from there. So super interesting uh, deck that can uh, create wins out of nowhere basically just by dropping a just guy ascendancy. Also Fate Stitcher has Unearth which gives the creature haste. So you don't even need to have a Fate Stitcher in play whenever you on the turn that you're going off with just cast ascendancy you can just go ascendancy play uh, play any spell, like a Serum and a Cost or whatever, this card, the Fate Stitcher, pay one mana to play the Fate Stitcher, then Fate Stitcher untaps your lands, and then you basically just go off from there. So uh, I am expecting to see a lot of uh, cool play here. This deck also plays the Fairy Tomb Raveler because, you know, it's a combo deck and you can just, you know, cast a fairy and then your opponent just looks at you while you go off and they, they can't do anything about it. So um, super, super sweet deck. Uh, I really like this version that's playing just straight up Jeskai. We're going to be looking at a different version which plays Mana Dorks and Splashes for Green uh, because uh, the, the mana base just looks super clean. We get to play cards like, you know, Seacrum Coast. We get to play a bunch of basics and uh, just like fetch lands and our mana base is going to be a lot less painful than the other version. So pretty excited to, to see this deck in action. The sideboard, uh, I've, I have no idea. <laughs> but I mean, I guess we do have Giganta, so that's cool. Uh, but yeah, uh, this actually is the list that when I looked at it, it, it felt like the most exciting. So that's why I'm going to be starting with this one, because I want to be... I want to not be as uh, mentally exhausted on the second... I know that by the second league I'm going to be mentally exhausted, so I wanted to make sure that I'm, I'm on top of my game to play this list, because I think that this is the one that looks the best. Uh, but yeah, it, it, it seems super sweet. I... I'm looking forward to making an insane amount of mistakes while playing this deck. It just looks too sweet not to, though. How do we donate for a donor deck? That's a great question, common sense. There you go. And Scott reading me push-ups. All right, you know what? I'm kind of feeling it today, so we're going to be starting off. We don't often do this, but I'm going to be starting off the stream with some push-ups while we wait for my opponent to show up. So let's do this. That was 10, but the match is happening, so. Those are for you, Scott, those are for you. Okay, let's get started here. Javanta. Seems like it could be a keep. Ah, 
I honestly don't know how this could not be a keep, right? Mm. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bubble myself. There's a Fates teacher on top. I guess we're gonna need that, right? So we're gonna do this. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Don't change camera. Oh, I totally forgot about the camera. My bad. That's that's the push-ups camera. <laughs> that's the push-ups camera. Um, I guess we have more red spells than white. Just gonna play a bubble just to cycle. Has a gracer. <laughs> Where do you get a sweater like that one? It's a good sweater. It is a good sweater. So we know that they have a gracer, so if they have a gracer, we're just we're just gonna be real dead here. If they have a titan, I mean. Just wanna wait until my opponent shows me a primeval titan, we're gonna pack it in. <laughs> this card seems pretty solid against my opponent's deck. I don't think I want Path to Exiles. I probably want Mentor, actually. Yeah. Let's do this. All right, there's the Jeskai Ascendancy, that's nice. Uh, sure, let's keep this hand. So we're looking for, we're looking for land. So I guess I'm gonna go slide our hand on one. Emery would also be real nice. There's the land. Racer. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna play double chromatic star here. Or do I wanna cycle one of these? My life total obviously is not gonna matter. Though I guess I do have explosives, so... Yeah, let's actually just uh, cycle one of these. Because if I find the cantrip, I'd rather play the cantrip instead of the second chromatic star. But now if we draw Embry, we can still cast, uh, cast it, no problem. Drawing Emery would be sick. Uh, ugh. I'm gonna risk it for the biscuit, right? Like if if this resolves, like I just get to, I get to probably go off next turn. But if my opponent has the Titan here, we're just dead. Yeah, my opponent, my opponent's draws were just very good. We never, we never stood the chance here. I could have, I could have like not done anything and just passed the turn. 
But if we do that, we just gust my opponent's Titan and then we're losing on the next turn. So like, realistically, there's nothing that we can do there. That is one of the things about this list, by the way, um, is that this list is obviously, like we're playing no, no way to ramp or anything like that. So even though I think this list is gonna be a little bit more robust, it's gonna be just a lot slower. So um, the other list that we're gonna be looking at today, which is this one, this is gonna be a little bit faster because we're gonna have access to Birds of Paradise. So definitely uh, the other list is going to be a lot uh, a lot faster. Um Okay. So we're playing against the Lurus deck. Should I cantrip on one? I don't think so. I think I think I'm gonna play fetch land. No, I'm I'm actually gonna cantrip. Um, I'm I'm a little bit scared of my opponent having a discard spell here. Jeez. Okay. Um. I'm gonna play mock summer to play around Inquisition or Thoughtseize. So now if my opponent thought this is me, they're actually doing me a favor. Discarding my fate stitchers. Got him! Tap land, say go. What's up, uh, say Ghost King? How's it going? Arcanist. Serum Visions. It's pretty hot actually. So let's put that on top and then let's put this one on top. And then we're gonna play just play an island. Following turn, we get to play the Jeskai Ascendancy, and then on the following turn, we get to start going off, maybe. I'm being tempted to the dark side. I don't know if that's how I would put it, but... It's pretty sweet. We actually played a version of Death Shadow that was uh, was back in Arcanists a while ago. It was pretty sweet. So now we have resolved the Ascendancy, now we're gonna be able to start doing some stuff next turn. Uh, if we get an next turn, I guess. Are we just dead? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I mean, it's by funny as anything, we're dead. All right, down to three. This is when we, quick, quick. Buckle up folks, cause here we go. Here we go. Draw, discard. All right, that's not the great start. That's not a great start. Um. So this allows me to cycle faster, but this actually allows me to... They can't have a way to kill my... They could have this member, I guess, never mind. 
Yeah, I know that this triggers and this doubles up the triggers after this, but this doesn't put me up on cards. But I think that I don't need to be up on cards right now. So I'm just going to take the Ascendancy. The thing is that Teferi also enabled my Mox Amber, right? Draw, discard. Yeah. So now, now I can't keep, keep cantrip in, right? Because I can't play anything from my game. Yeah, this this is what I was afraid of. Like if we whiff, we just whiff. If I had if I had Teferi, I could have Teferi plus to my Mox Sam uh, minus on my Mox Amber, and we would have been able to um, would have been able to have yet another trigger. So yeah, getting the ascendancy there was just a mistake because it it opened me up to this. No, no, it wasn't about luck. It was just a mistake. Like I could have avoided this very easily. But we probably didn't need the second one in order to go off. Yeah, I should have definitely gone to the Teferi. Unfortunate. Okay, so Veil of Summer sounds good. Um, the removal is interesting. I don't think I want Gust. Probably don't need Mentor. Although Mentor... Huh. So what Mentor does is Mentor allows me to... Win off of a very low base. That's what Mentor does for me. We are bringing three Veil of Summers though, so I, I think I, I don't want to do the Mentor thing. Yeah. We, we should have very easily won if I had picked the, the, the Fairy instead of the other one. Live and you learn. I um, think I'd rather have Path instead of Lightning Bolt, although I guess that one Lightning Bolt is probably fine to use as a win condition with Underworld Breach. Explosives, um, I guess explosives is actually fine. Probably don't want to cut the fairies. Mox Ember. can play the slower game. Going down to two seems a little bit too low. Um, let's cut. Man, sideboard is tough with this deck because like I really don't want to dilute my game plan too much. Like I feel like I'm bringing in so much interaction with the Veil of Summer, like, but like, this protects me from this card and counter magic. It's just too good to not play three. Like, if there's a matchup to be playing Veil of Summer, it's precisely this one. But this works well in grindy matchup. What am I supposed to cut here? Just got an explosive since we're bringing in the Path to Exiles, I guess. I'm not sure about that, though. Yeah, Veil definitely looks good here, but... I mean, not here, but... <laughs> in general. Uh, we're gonna ship this hand, that doesn't do anything. Uh, this hand is nice, though. Keep, and I guess we can bottom to Fairy Time Raveler. Mm. Yep, that looks pretty good to me. Hmm. 
So my opponent knows that I'm drawing this Veil of Summer. So I'm just gonna telegraph telegraphic very obviously because they just know about it, so whatever. We want the land. And here I think we're just gonna play a little bit of a slower game, I think. They know about it, so they just have the Star Nail here. Yeah, Spell Beers, whatever. I wonder what they take. I imagine the Ascendancy, but it's not a given. If they have removal, they can just take the Emery. Mutual's bubble is worth more than EE. That's hilarious. I'm just gonna play the Emery here. If my opponent has a removal spell, like that's, I mean, not not much I can do about it. Now, do we get Sacred Foundry or do I get? Um, I guess we can just get a basic planes. I'll just get a basic planes. Very likely that we get to on top with Emery, but if we do, we're gonna be in really good shape, I think. This member, just bolt. Okay. How do we ever cast this Giganta, by the way? for a land here probably yeah play this tapped play this for two gigantes literally free real estate i mean yes and no right i think that I mean, it's a possibility that this is freer than it seems, but at the same time, this is also not as free as it seems. When you have infinite mana but no wing gun? Maybe? It's a little bit sketch. And maybe we get to find out right now. And just get Crocsai again this very turn. Yeah, we're in a lot of trouble right now. Can we? We can't actually win, right? The F6. Why would the F6? I mean, it's not like it matters because we drew a blank, but. I didn't make the list, I just made you play it. Fair, fair, that, that's fair. Yeah, like they could have played Croxa last turn. No idea why they wouldn't. Also, I don't know if there's anything that saves me here. Because I don't think we have any real way of recouping card advantage. Um... Oh no, Underworld Breach. Underworld Breach is what we have to draw. Actually, if we draw under War Breach, we may just win. Under War Breach? Breach one time? Hmm. Maybe we get a Champerino here. Maybe we don't. Yeah, actually, if we if we get um, if we draw under War Breach, it would be fine. Also, that's effectively the same thing, right? 
that's effectively the same thing. Like they, if I hold this in my hand to discard to the Croxa, then they just pulled my face. So we're in the same spot. We're going to one regardless. Breach, one time, breach. Again, we have to drop reach, so that's why I'm I'm cracking this. There it is, but now we don't have enough mana. Now we don't have enough mana. So, we play Explosives for zero. We play Mox... No, we play Bubble. We play Mox Amber. We play Emery. We don't have second Mox Amber. And we have to kill both of my opponent's threats. Which doesn't seem very doable. Yeah, we're one we're one land short. One minute short. So we can breach for bubble plus Moxamber. We need blue mana, I guess. So other war breach. Oh, they just had a counter spell. All right. All right, not great so far. <laughs> Again, I threw away game one. I think we actually would have we would have had a significantly higher uh, chance of winning game one. Like if I had gotten the Teferi off of that side, I think I think that we were super super um, likely to win. Ian McCrickrick, thank you for the follow. GGs, was that you, Ian? Yep. GGs. Yeah, I, we threw away game one. In experience with the deck really really cost me there. Um I was thinking I, I, I got a second ascendancy when I should have gotten something else. Another Lurus deck. I knew this day would be fast, which works out for me because I gotta get ready for working less than two hours. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Um Another shadow deck. Maybe they'll take my slide of hand. Have an hour and a half left of work for the day. Do you get to watch Twitch while you're working, Colby? That's good value. That's good value. What's it gonna be, opponent? What's it gonna be? Good old target slide of hand, hope that you don't find the land. Got me. They're probably taking either the breach or the mox amber here, I imagine. Last night shift and off until Thursday. Nice. Like a full week. Full week off. Sounds good. It's pretty cool. Opponent's gonna drop a shadow here. Grixis again? What's going on? Is there like a Grixis shadow list that popped out and people are playing that now? Is, is that a thing? Uh, 
That sucks. <laughs> Damn it. That really sucks. I watch it on my phone while playing with sulfuric acid. That's that's the pro play right there. That's what professionals do. They're real pros. Risk it for the biscuit, you know? This is just the saddest timeline, isn't it? Are we are we gonna be able to win a game today? That's the challenge. Can we win a game? We know that they have push. We know that they have lures. I'm just gonna pack it in. Like we, there, there's no way to keep. There, no, no reason to keep playing this. Just move on to the next one. I was supposed to bring in Solar Lantern in this matchup. Like we're just bringing so many cyborg cards already. There's no way we're supposed to bring in even more. Want to win games? Why did I take my Dono decks? Mistakes were made, Stavs. Mistakes were made. The Greek is Arcanist list. That's kind of sweet. Yeah, we actually played... A list similar to that one for a dono list a while ago like a month ago maybe maybe two months maybe I just deleted it yeah anyway but it was like a it was exactly like it was just like a, a Grixis shadow list with with Arcanist which it was pretty sweet it felt very untuned so then we played we played a, a league with actual Grixis Shadow, you know, with like Rumor Ganglers, like the, the list from like 2016 or something. And that that one just felt like super smooth. I think it, I think that was actually a 5-0. We, we 5-0 with that list. Um so yeah, if if people have continued working on it, uh, you know, and they are actually at a point where wait, I wanted to get Talot Fountain. Ugh. Never mind. Um, but they actually continued to work on the deck and made it into something real, you know, like uh, into a well-oiled machine. I, I would expect that deck to be pretty solid. Yeah, now I can't really crack this chromatic star because I don't have a stupid white source. Oh, but I should probably take the Underworld Bridge here, honestly. The Fairy, okay. Easy. I don't have the Lumion Thread on my breathing in 150 push-ups. Yo, I did 10, just to like start off the stream. That never happens. That's pretty damn exciting, if I may say so myself. Um, I think that we can cast Emery and draw a card as well, if we, if we were to top deck her, right? I think that's how that works. Croxa. It's a card that we can pitch to the stupid Croxa, so good stuff. Free card is free. Free card is free. Love to see it. Also, I would love for, you know, 
this solar atlanters to be in my deck i guess that maybe it's just that we just have to oversight more than this matchup i don't know like how do we get through like discard and counter magic like sure we have three veil of summers whatever but how do we get through so much disruption and so much pressure at the same time this seems like an just like an absolute nightmare matchup. I don't know if I'm winnable, but like pretty damn close to that. I am everyone's wife. All right. It's a good good for you, Jesse. Good for you. Arcanis doesn't play stuffs. So the list I will certainly play spell pierce and one either gust. Okay. So I guess we're just playing around Pierce. Um, and honestly, it just makes sense, right? Like, Stubborn Denial is only enabled by, like, four shadows. Technically, the Croxa as well. But Pierces make, make more sense out of that deck. Pierces or Disputes, something like that. Opponent, you there? Do you need help, opponent? You okay? They figured it out. Awesome. Excuse me, what? Can somebody explain? Wait, what? Sprogress89 with the tier 1 sub, joining the primetime stronghold for the first time. Welcome, 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 Sprogress. Appreciate you being here. So, what the hell are we doing here? Filtering for blue, I guess. We're going to draw a Veil of Summer right now, right here, Veil of Summer. Sure. I guess I'm going to hold on to this because of... <laughs> Value reached to get back Chromatic Star. Um, hold on to this because of if I top deck Ascendancy, I can play the Mox Amber for free and I can uh, discard the Fates Teacher. Torpor Orb. Why would my opponent want Torpor Orb against me? Like, they, this honestly just seems terrible. Also, they kind of blank their blues. Or I guess they didn't blank it. They just made it so if... Sure. It's like if they want to haste now, I just path it. And I'm going to do it before they can... Before they can play a land and hold up and pierce me or something. Hey yo. Yeah, the problem with it is, like, I'm not looking for anything, right? There's nothing I can find. So I'd rather play the EE on the next turn when I'm going to have Face Teacher in play. It just nets me more mana. So there, there's no reason to play the EE right now. In fact, it's kind of bad to play the EE right now. When it just passes the turn. I 
I don't think it's safe to go off. So I'm just gonna chill here. And step gonna be fetching for for a breeding pool. K command. Okay. Why are they playing Torpor? <laughs> wow, that's a, that's some PG thirteen humor right there. Okay, so here comes the Croxam. Oh no, Lurus. Okay, not holding up blue mana. Not holding up blue mana. <laughs> I have to assume that they have at least one lightning bolt. Fighting a wisdom, I'm surely banned from this channel. I mean, I, I have the thing that says that this stream is not for kids, so you're safe here. This is a safe space, Steps. This is a safe space for bad humor. Safe space for bad humor. I can pass this if I wanted to. I think I'm just gonna pass. <laughs> that is a lot. <laughs> It really is a lot. Maybe I should have played explosives for two there. Wait, did I go just fetch and fail to find? Is that what just happened? Yeah, that's what just happened. Solaris. It's a Croxa. Is that the combo that they, they were trying to set up all this time? Is that it? Ah. Uh -huh. 
Aha. Aha. Okay, so we Mox Amber. Discard Fate's Teacher. Get back Fate's Teacher. That untaps our land. Then we Underworld Breach. With two zeros. Whenever we Breach, now we can maybe the Fairy Time Raveler to minus. That's one of the options. I, I feel like I have to I have to do this, right? My opponent's at seven. I think we have enough. Dramatic Star allows us to keep churning through our deck. Um, we can play the fairy. Oh, the fairy adds mana with Mox Amber, so this should be good, right? Yeah, the, this card is kind of good with this in this deck, I guess. We can even float mana. We can make more mana here. It's pretty sexy. Being that, untap, draw that. Untap this, yes. Mox Amber, one, two, three. Yes, being that, flow to blue mana, bounce that, and tap that, yes. This is pretty sweet. Yes. Blue. Okay, we won a game. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, we won. A, we won a game. Uh, this is so exciting. <laughs> we won a game. Uh, marvelous, absolutely marvelous. This card, okay. Uh, th this card is is kind of messed up when it when it gets going. I I, I like this a lot. <laughs> I like this a lot. I'm still not sure why my opponent's playing Torpor Orb in their deck right now. <laughs> Through a Torpor Orb, what a master! Yeah, I know. I beat my opponent's. I I beat my opponent's hate card and everything. That's how good this deck is. <laughs> I beat my opponent's hate card like nobody's business. Turn one Emery, don't mind if I do. And we can even play the turn one Emery under the Torpor. So we get the meal value, the sweet, sweet meal value. Why are we playing this card? Why, why is this card in our deck, Chad? Uh, 
I guess I'm gonna find sick on Emery because this one is very very likely to just die so <laughs> Playing just guys in CO to wreck it. Why am I hating on opponents? <laughs> yeah. Turn one Hasteland, turn two Toropor Orb, turn three Croxa and attack. Now that's the dream. That right there is the dream. Wait a second. This is a turn to kill if unimpeded. Yeah, this is actually a turn two kill. If my opponent doesn't kill this ember right here, we kill them on turn two. That's that's pretty good. That's 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 good. That's that seems strong. <laughs> I just noticed. Just a casual turn two kill. Don't worry about it. Told you this deck can turn two, just don't forget to draw with bubble, very important for max value. Well, I still don't know if I want to draw with bubble, right? Because if I want, if next turn I want to Emery, I, I would need to do it with two mana. Right now, this bubble makes the Emery cost only one, and if my Emery dies, then this doesn't tap for mana. So I still need to. I, I'm gonna see what my opponent's gonna do before I try to, before I try to crack this bubble. <laughs> I didn't play memes to not bubble an opponent's end step. God damn it, steps. Too good. You're too good. Just come in. You come into my stream with all of these truths. Who do you think you are? There you go. My opponent figured out where the, the pass priority button is. How can I ever beat a Torpor Orb on turn two? How could I ever beat a turn two Torpor Orb? Is that what you got for me, opponent? Turn two Torpor Orb? Bolt. Oh. They're doing another bolt, which is very unlucky for me. Bustle in your hedgerow. Thank you for that follow. That is strong though. So I think I'm just I guess I'm just playing Embry here. That effectively time walks my opponent. Didn't get any value off of her. Spike with the huge raid. Welcome everybody from Spike stream. I am... Um... Off of my element right now, we got some nice little donation leaks going on today. And this one is definitely outside my comfort zone, so... We're playing some Jeskai Ascendancy. We're playing against Dreadhorde. Which apparently gets hasty with Footfall Crater. It's been something. <laughs> it's been something. Um... So if I play, I can just play Teferi, which blanks the Arcanist. Wait, where's my mountain? I milled it. I'm so unlucky. We can use this turn to resolve the Ascendancy. Now, I think I have to... We know that my opponent has a bolt in hand, but I'm just going to... Uh, wait a second. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to do this and plus.
It's bad if my opponent has another Arcanist or if they have like a Dead Shadow. Well, that sucks. My my idea was that Teferi allows me to tap this for mana, so I was trying to, you know, play the Ascendancy and then do the thing, you know? On the following turn. Croxa? Thank you. Opponent obviously cannot cast the Thought Seize because of the Fawn Raveler. What can we top deck here? That's the land. So I think I'm gonna minus an Arcanist because that spends most of my opponent's mana. And then. Play the fairy, and we're gonna plus again. Keep that one plus. So they can use their entire turn to like bolt this arcanist and haste it, which is kind of okay, I guess. This deck is making me think a lot. I don't like to think. I don't like to think anymore. I've had enough of this thinking thing. Okay, so what are our do good top decks? Our good top decks include Jeskai Ascendancy. Um, Underwood Breach. Breach is probably your best top deck. Gonna have to keep up and be a Trump player, but it's probably not gonna happen. That's why I played Bagels the other day? No, I played Bagels the other day because people gave me money to do it. As long as folks give me money to do stuff, I'll do it. You want me to play Tron? Sweet. Donation lists are for that. Play Burn? Yeah, exactly. I don't think, however, that Burn has bad reputation. I think that Boggles and Tron are by a lot significantly more mindless than Burn. There you go, Stabs got you. T pass, thank you for the follow. White Tron. What is that even? Also, how are we. How does my opponent have seven minutes on their clock? That's an Arcanist. Gonna haste it? Not gonna haste it. Okay. So what are we doing then? Just passing the turn. Okay. So I think we just plus again, we play this, and I'm just gonna put Giganta in my hand. Telegraphing the most obvious Veil of Summer to ever exist. Burn needs to sequence well, and the opponent is even somewhat interactive. Tron and Bob was literally playing a two-player game most of the time. Yep. 
I still remember that time when Spike um, Spike actually uh, played an entire league of Tron uh, where he was not looking at his opponent's board. He was just doing making actions at random and still managed to 2-3 that league. Like that is, that is Tron for you. Literally make decisions at random and still win 40% of your matches. Got a lures in your hand, opponent. Thank you for the follow. I am this Sam um, Squanch. Is that the blind troll leak he keeps referring to? Yeah, exactly. That's what it is. It was hilarious. It was absolutely hilarious. Sweet. So. Gonna fetch for an island. We continue telegraphing the most, the most obvious Veil of Summer to ever exist. Two turn clock. <laughs> also, this adds a lot of mana now that I think about it. So my opponent's gonna get two Luras plus get Croxa here. Which is not great for us, obviously. Because it discards her veil. But I guess I do want to cycle this. Because it's just more cards that go to my graveyard for, um, for what's his name? For Underworld Breach. Another Veil of Summer, okay. Um, so let's bounce the Lurus, see what happens. Oh. Hello there. Okay, there's an ascendancy there, so what we can do is Fate Stitcher. One, two, Underworld Breach. Tap a bunch of mana. Ascendancy, one, two, three. Done. Play a bubble. One, two, three. And tap that one. <laughs> Sweet. So I guess this is officially garbage time. Officially garbage time. Officially garbage time. Point a solid line. We want a match. Yes. Yes. Woo. They didn't run the torpor arm, so we got him. That matchup is a lot easier when, when my opponent doesn't draw the torpor orb. Given I have infinite mana, if you untap with companion with face teacher, I go with escaping blue can trips rather than bubbles. Yeah, I, it, it doesn't matter. It, again, it's, it's garbage time. Just doing stuff at random will get me a win anyway. Garbage time is garbage time. Then 
There we go. Wow. Look at look at look at how many how many people think I'm a coward. Oof, yes, the one two me the one two mirror match. The one two mirror match. You love to see it. Coast Guard, thank you for the follow. Yes, Lance, who needs Lance anyway? Keep bottom. When do you do donation leagues? Whenever, whenever the people that uh, that donate for the league, I are you know able to watch it basically. The mirror match? <sighs> so I'm like super tired, so can you explain how this deck wins just with Bolt and Mentor plus Breach? Uh, you make infinitely large Faith Stitchers. Thanks to Jeskai Ascendancy. Make infinite mana, then make infinitely large Faith Stitchers. So I don't think I'm winning this game, so I, uh, this turn, sorry. So we're going to slide our hand first. And then I'm gonna serve ambitions in order to set up my draws for next turn. Don't need second fate teacher, but I'm I think I probably like sleight of hand. Don't think I'm gonna win this game. Shh. Don't say that. I know I just said it, but don't don't say it. Fate teacher beat sounds like good entertainment value. It is. It it really is. Excuse me, what? Is this some nonsense like Jeskai prowess or whatever? Oh. Well, I've actually no, literally no idea of what's going on over there. So now we're actually going to play this out because, well, can't draw cards. So okay, there we go. That's what my opponent's doing. You know what I don't like? The fact that my opponent has a has a Narset over there. I don't like that. The fact that now they have a Metamorphose, I don't like either. So we're just gonna have to bounce for no value. Yeah, slide works around Narset, which is nice. So we really want to find the Monastery Mentor here.
So I can play Emery and hope to draw a Fate Stitcher. Hope to mill a Fate Stitcher so I can basically use it as a way to kill this. Alternatively, I can just like hard cast this Fate Stitcher. I think I'm just gonna go with the Emery line. Um, I guess I do have Lightning Bolt, so I could slide our hand into Lightning Bolt. I'm just gonna Emery. Like, I just want to put something into play, I think. Face Stitcher? No. Never lucky. Mm. We don't get to draw a card there, which really sucks, but... I don't like that they killed me, me pretty soon. Yeah, yeah. Wait. Did they shock? Did they shock or not? Just feels like this entered and tapped. Seacrum Coast. We're super fucked, aren't we? We're super, super fucked. But I, I don't think that we can... Like, I, I could just play the Fairy and bounce the Ascension again. But how are we winning? We're just not doing anything. So now they can kill the Fate Stitcher. But at least I can... I can unearth it if I need to. Yeah, I, I am known uh, for, for many names, steps, as you can see. I am known for many names. What do we need against this deck? We're definitely bringing in the Soul Guides, and we're probably going to be bringing in the Aether Gusts and potentially the Monastery Mentor. Mm-hmm. You suck, opponent. Opponent sucks. They have like all the answers and we're super dead. I mean, we don't really have a pretty good route to victory anyway. We know they have a second Narset in hand. We can do a value breach here. Where we get back Emery, we get back Mistress Bubbles. We get back Mox Ember. So we could get some of that action. We'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana total to do stuff. So two to breach, one for um Emery. If we mill a Jeskai Ascendancy, maybe we're doing fine. But we can't really draw cards because of the stupid Narset, so... Huh, what we can do, however, is we can get back Engineered Explosives. And we can blow up the both Ascensions. So we Breach. Breach, play a Zero in Mox Amber. One, two... Play an Emery, then we play Explosives for two, we play a Bubble. Yeah, I guess like that's that's how we do this. So Underworld Breach, Mox Amber, one, 
two, three. Embry, one, two, three. It's gonna mill four cards. See what we mill. That's a bog. So one, two, explosives for two. One, two, three. Then we play Mox Amber from hand. Keep this. We bolt your Narset. One, two, three. We can crack explosives. Well, we can't balance breach now because we're using our mana to do other stuff. But like this was overall a pretty solid turn, I think. Yeah, maybe Cracking Star was okay. Yeah, maybe Cracking Star would have been would have been okay. I mean, we can just crack Star on my opponent's next turn. No, Teferi is at two right now, and I had already activated it. We had a Teferi in the bin, but I had to exile in order to play other stuff. What constitutes a meme deck, don't know why. Uh, you just ask me and I'll tell you. Your screen is small. Yeah, I mean, you're you're dealing with toxic stuff and then, you know, your, your screen, maybe that blurs your vision or something. And on your phone screen, you know, it can be tough. So I understand. Do I untap? No! No! Hey. Hey, hey. Next turn, we're just gonna throw in there a 5-5 five, five elk. Play the perfectly, we are the best. Yes, yes we are. We are indeed the best. He looks coming back to haunt the modern again, yeah. Two mana draw two. Free Gasson. I really wish I had an R set instead of a Teferi, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Gotta get me to play Zombie Hunt. Is that the, the treasure hunt deck? I have not seen that deck in a while, but I do love me some... Oh. I do love me some zombie infestation. I played some fair zombie infestations in my time. Way too fair zombie infestations. It's tier zero in historic, that's hilarious. 
I think they've played the land already. They play this mountain. They're gonna get to draw like a bunch of cards with Metamorphos. Like, man, just another deck that gets kind of broken with Metamorphos. This is basically two mana, draw as many cards as your graveyard allows you to. They don't get to net mana, but like it, it's pretty absurd, honestly. Your deck is sillier than I thought. Uh, it's it's it looks realer than it might think than it might look at first at first sight. So I expect they're gonna draw a bunch of cards and they're gonna bolt my Emery and they're gonna bolt my Teferi. And then that's gonna be their turn. But that's a very strong value breach. Definitely stronger than our value breach. Our value breach was legit, but wait. So I guess they just have another underworld breach. Hmm. There we go. Good to see you, pal. Okay, so we're gonna hope to be able to... First of all, we have to not die. But if we don't die and my opponent doesn't answer my uh, Giganta, then we may be able to just win next turn. That's why I'm holding this card in my hand. I'm expecting my opponent to have an, a second underworld breach though. Two mana draw three, now this is starting to be strong. No, there's no Stitcher in the bin just yet. We still have three in the deck though. Only the, the first phase Stitcher got pathed. Lose fast so I got to work in 45 minutes? Yo. Not even a tiny bit of faith, huh? Is that what we're doing? Just having no faith? Good old friend. Path. Damn it. Where are you guys? Probably with a single ascendancy we might not be able. Like both other war breaches are gone. And with a single ascendancy, I don't think we're gonna be able to grow the face stitcher fast and strong enough. I think I am going for it though, because I think that if my opponent taps, they're gonna get to do something a lot better than what I'm gonna get to do. So I think I'm, I just have to go for it. Fate Stitcher. No, that's that's gonna be too slow. I'm not gonna get to be able to do that. Fate Stitcher. 
Fate Stitcher. Yay. Draw. Oh no. Please. Yeah, woof. Dodge a bullet there. Can we do the thing? Draw that. Explosives is good enough. Wait, is it good enough? I guess it's not good enough, actually. That one is good enough, though. No, I guess that we can still whiff. Oh, damn it. Oh, what we get to do is we get to look to see if the top card... Is, okay, the top card is a spell. So we're gonna let this untap. Um, I guess we don't need to untap and tap anymore. So we know the top card is a spell. So we're not gonna draw on this card. We're not gonna draw on this card. We're gonna draw the Mox Amber. And then we can keep those here. Phew! Got there. That was hot. That was hot. So these are probably the cards that interest me. Bolt seems meh. We have no real answers to enchantments and whatnot. So I guess Sailor Ghost it is. And are we, we're never untapping with a Monastery Mentor, are we? Tier one, here we come. We're doing the thing, we're doing the thing. I mean, this hand is just perfect, right? Nothing wrong with this hand. Exile that stuff. Miss this deck with Dig. That deck did not last very long. That deck did not last very long. Visions. Second Fate Stitcher. We like Emery, but we don't like the other thing.
I miss KCI. <laughs> oh man, let's let's not go let's not go down the rabbit hole. Remember KCI? Holy crap! That day was messed up. I really doubt that Ember is gonna is gonna see the the next turn, but one two bracket, and we play against Jeskai with Vice Lands. Coincidence? <laughs> I don't think so. Members search for treasures. Thank you for the follow. Mere incubator. Now we're going deep. Master Kerfoot. Am I selling ticks? I uh, am, yeah, yeah. Always. It's probably a problem. Lightning Bolt. No. No Lightning Bolt, unfortunately. Lightning Bolt. Hopefully this blocks. <laughs> maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I also sell memes and I, I also sell dreams. All of those I sell. Do I sell schemes? No, I don't sell schemes. I'm trying to get into business though. I hear that selling schemes can be pretty profitable. Meme streams and everything in between, exactly. That's bad for us. That's also pretty bad for us. Most of what's happening right now is pretty bad for us. Spike has a lucrative business selling schemes. Interesting. I shall ask him about the ins and outs of the scheme selling business. Probably need to find a bolt there. Mentor plus Narset is just not beatable for us. I also forgot about Narset, so I think I want more bolts. Um, maybe Gust is just bad. Like, it's good against Breach or good against the other thing, but like, I already have explosives against those cards, so.
Okay, only match, match four after an hour and 40 minutes. This is gonna be a long stream. This is gonna be a long stream. When it moves to five. We have a shot. We have a shot. We have a shot. I kind of want both of these. If I take the land, yeah, I think I want both of these. I'm gonna play the fetch land here and if my opponent plays something I want to bolt, I'm not going to fetch. If they do play something I want to bolt, maybe I will consider uh, not drawing the Lightning Bolt. But Leader of Spike just goes to show that I enjoy switching with my off mana blue decks is pers his personality type. <laughs> to be fair, that's good stuff. 3 2 in 3 2 in leagues with blue decks is fun. I think I'm jamming Tef here. So that protects my stuff, gives me a lot more flexibility. And next turn I can play Emery for two mana. If my opponent plays Narset, we can just bolt it. Okay. Opponent a minuser. Mm, but they minused on themselves. Damn it, the opponent is smart. I hate it when my opponents are smart. We're playing a different version of Jeskai Ascendancy after this, and then we're gonna be playing some Fur Color Control. Those are the donation lists for the day. Two Ashiox. Who donates for this? People like different things. I mean, this is fun. If my opponent is, I feel like I've been ahead on clock every single match that I played today by a lot, which is a normal thing here, but particularly so today. It feels like you know, whenever you're playing enough, um, like enough meta deck, you like your opponents are gonna be playing around stuff that maybe you don't have, or they're not experiencing the matchup, so they're playing a lot slower. So that's that's kind of the downside, you know. Not the entire life I wish to be the smartest person in the world and the genie snapped away everyone smarter than me. The world soon collapsed back to the stone age. Yeah, it was a good time. Definitely, definitely was a good time. 10 out of 10 would do again. Please minus. Please don't bolt my Emery. Minus on themselves, cool. It's a good start. That's a good start for us because that's something that we wanted to happen very badly. So now I can use this ball to clear this out. <laughs> I 
I guess he just forgot I have a Teferi in play. We win next turn if my opponent doesn't answer this Emery. I mean, even if they do, we we may win just the same. That's a mentor. That's an ascension. Okay, so. Ding, ding, a ding. Whew, we're really doing it right now. I guess I'm not going to need the Embry buff. Yeah, we're, we're we're just we're just done here. Got a bash, Ligar bash. What you drawing? Metamorphose. Okay. Red, white, tap, yes. Um, so what you do here? And tap. And tap. Why does it ask you again? Like you're literally clicking and targeting. Like why would you not want to activate it, right? <laughs> I mean, honestly, this is kind of fun, so I, I don't mind it too much. This is kind of fun, but it, it it really is an absolute waste of time. But I guess my opponent still did or whatever. Just trying to time me out. Um, they're at 15. Oh, they're super dead. I'm just, I am, I guess I am the one just wasting time. They're just super fucking dead. Tap that. Tap that. There we go. Insane Mary, thank you for the follow.
I mean, I, I was I was kind of having fun. It was it was a lot of clicking, but like I still had like nine minutes, so it's not like I'm gonna be timing out anytime soon. Two and two. Are we gonna leave the three two dream? Are we gonna be leaving the three two dream over here? I think I'm gonna fetch on turn one because I'm I'm gonna need double blue anyway, and I probably want to make sure that I have white mana. But uh, I also want to make sure that I can get value from this Christ. If you three, I want a five dollar refund. So you were basically just you made the dono just so I so I would lose money. Is is that the thing? Is this all part of an evil an evil plan? And all of this time, I was thinking that you loved me, Stabs. Feels so silly now. Well, now that I that my opponent is probably playing Lunar Arbiters and shit, I'm just gonna... Fate's Teacher, okay. Bottom that, top that. Play star. Made the donor for a fun deck, but if you 3 2, it's not a meme, and I paid meme prices. That's just not how it works. Ugh. Opponent leaving the turn to Thalia life. Some explosives. Some explosives, which is kind of nice. So if the assembly doesn't die, no land into operation, please. Remember complex? <sighs> I do. I do remember complex. It was such a good time. This I can work with. Turn two path you. That's acceptable to me. Looking for a land here. Operation on top. That sucks. That really sucks. Ugh, the operation is brutal. I just play explosives on two, right? Oh, FNMs. Oh, FNMs. Good times. Good times were had. Let's just. Oh. 
items. I'm over it. We started putting affinity on it on in a train. Yeah, it was a good time. Didn't matter that game though. Feels bad. We're certainly not ready for the Texas matchup. I imagine there is some sort of transformational sideboard plan going on somewhere. Just like cut all the ascendancies or whatever. There has to be, honestly. Because this looks miserable. I don't know how I feel about the have a million veils plan, honestly. Maybe it's a little bit greedy to top the bolt, but like we're, we're gonna need the fucking bolt anyway, so might as well top it. Definitely got it draw land here though. Oh, I don't have to do this yet. At least I got removal spells. Can we please draw a land? Can we please draw a land? Land, easy. We're in this, we're in this, we're in this. Let's go. So my opponent can play something like an apparition or whatever, but...
super weird. Use the speed serum visions, yeah. Pog. The serum has the visions. Well, is that the nuts? No, I guess it isn't. It does allow me to play Moxamber. Play Emery. Okay. Hmm. This seemed like good stuff. Okay, so we have explosives on two. And if we do get to untap with Emery, we're looking really good. Didn't we just get Ascendancy for the Greed? Yeah, the problem with the Greedy line is that it's just way too likely for us to whiff, right? My opponent's going for the equip. We end up with Ember, we went. Yeah, that's true. If my opponent doesn't have removal, and if my opponent doesn't have... Um, <clears throat> we need a couple of things to go right. But yeah, it, it is true that we, we would win. Mana Tithe, not a thing. Um, this is just lethal, I think. Unless I'm mistaken. Which is basically always say no, Embryon taps, and it grows, and then we tap the bubble every single time. Eventually we get there. Yep, we were the one doing the, the tithing the other day, on Tuesday. We were we were doing some mana tithing on, on the Tuesday stream on the ball streams. In fact we did end up 5-0 in casting mana with three mana tithes in our deck. And not a single opponent played around it, and every every single time the mana tithe was cast, it was game winning. So exactly as as you would expect exactly how we win there. So there's a bubble and there's an Emery in play and there's an Ascendancy. Every time I play the bubble, I the Ascendancy uh, triggers. Then what we do is we, um, we decide to not draw a card because all we care about is the fact that we're just going to use Emery to allow us to cast the bubble and then we rinse and repeat infinite times. Jeez. Fairly effective way to kill our, to kill an opponent. Every single game. Game one, game two, game three. Turn one giver of runes, turn two Thalia. Every single game.
We're, we're totally gonna get apparition here, aren't we? Or flicker wisp. I am always on time. God damn it, Thalia. You're too strong. Yeah. Flicker wisp blows me out. Uh, apparition blows me out. Revoker blows me out. But what am I supposed to do, right? All right, show me how you're winning opponent. Well, the giver attack is just correct. Like what, what is the giver protecting, right? The one point matters more than the, be the giver being untapped. The giver can't protect itself. That just worked. Pivot, new plan. New plan. Opponent didn't have an answer to the engineering explosives last game. I'm assuming that they're not gonna have an answer here. Maybe they top decked it, but uh, this actually means that if I untap, I get to you know proact do do something proactive to win the game, which otherwise I can't really. Sick. That has to mean resto angel though, right? So I'm probably not gonna be attacking, not this turn, maybe next turn. Oh wow, we whiffed on a land. That sucks. EOT resto, or just nothing? Rest in peace. Feeling very smart with the monastery mentor in play right now. <clears throat> you got an Aether Vial. Oh, this actually stops the Chromatic Star redraw. Dang it. Wow, we're gonna win this. That's great. I love winning. I love winning so much. Uh, bottom bolt of peace. Can we please find a land here? We really dug for a land. Just couldn't find it. <clears throat> uh, what number do they concede? I don't know. Like, do they have outs to this? Like, they're chump blocking with a giver runes. Like, what's their plan? What you drawing, opponent? 
Sky Cleave Apparition. Right on time. <clears throat> well, we can only cast one bolt. Draw scape shift is the only out. <laughs> I mean, if they draw scape shift, then I'm pro I probably think that we're in good shape, right? Um, we're really digging for that land, aren't we? <laughs> we just can't find the fucking land. Land, where are you? <laughs> I mean, fortunately, this is just lethal, but it's just really funny how much we dug for a stupid land, but we just couldn't get there. Three and two stabs in your face. In your face. Clearly, deck is busted. Now, nah, for real, it was, it was fun. I had a good time playing the deck. Um, it was doing some very interesting things, and it I feel like it could win from a very, very low... From a very, very low... Uh, the amount of resources, which is nice. Uh, but I wonder if there's... If there's another way to make... If there's a way to make, like, Embry Hasty or something like that that we could use. Who paid for this? It was Stabs who paid for this. Hmm. The one with the new flashback. Um, but that's, isn't that black on the front side? Red is in the draw six cards and gives the creatures. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm just theory crafting here. I think that it's probably just better to play the deck like this. Um, but I wonder if there should be room for some like spell pierces and stuff. Like we really struggle against the card Lightning Bolt. We're covered against Fatal Push with Veil, but we're not covered against Lightning Bolt, and we kind of struggled against that card in, in a variety of matchups, so maybe that's something to consider. Uh, but yeah, no, this was fun. This was fun. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be uh, playing uh, another Donald League after this, so see you there. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and take care. Bye-bye.